Quality Matters has created an emergency remote instruction checklist as a helpful work aid for institutions making a temporary move to remote teaching of classroom-based courses. The checklist is being released in two versions, one for higher education and one for K-12. Both begin with a short introduction that briefly explains the organization, purpose, and potential uses. The checklist is a three-by-three three document containing three tiered sections of prioritized actions and organized into three columns. The first column lists a recommended action statement with a specific tip, while the second column explains why the action is important, and the third column connects the action to select design standards of the QM rubric. Section one here includes high priority items to help you prepare for success from day one. All items in this phase can be easily addressed via text, and faculty can email this information to students or include it within the course management system in some form. Just to highlight one example here, the first item, faculty can allay student concerns about this new way of teaching and learning by explaining any differences in how the class might be structured, such as whether students will need to attend live synchronous sessions and how they will submit coursework. If we scroll down now to section two, this is a helpful list of next steps to consider once you've dealt with students' immediate needs and everyone has had a bit of a chance to breathe and become acclimated to the new remote classroom environment. These are tips specifically to help faculty do what they do best, teach. QM understands that faculty making this temporary move to remote instruction may not be familiar or comfortable with the online teaching environment. So these are ways to help your students build their own confidence as you elevate your teaching presence. If we scroll down now to the final section, These are longer term considerations if you end up teaching remotely for longer than you thought, or if you feel comfortable enough in the early days to try some more advanced remote teaching strategies, such as creating new digital content or doing some basic organization of course elements. Finally, QM understands that remote teaching options and guidelines will vary. For example, some instructors may be delivering synchronous lectures, while others may be spending their time connecting with students via email. Whatever remote instruction looks like for you, we hope having this checklist as a work aid will be helpful to your academic continuity efforts. Please share the ERI checklist freely. As part of QM's community of online educators, designers, and students, we encourage all of you to share your online learning expertise and knowledge with colleagues who may be looking for some quick tips for success. And from QM to all of you, thank you for all you do every day, and we hope you and your students stay safe and healthy.